Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will discuss with you another scenario based question which was asked in the Power BI interview at a company called Deloitte, which is a big four firm. Okay, so uh, let us see now what was the scenario given by the interviewer. Uh, okay, and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all my videos. Okay, so let's see what was the scenario given. Okay, so let me take you to the data view tab. Okay, so uh, I already discussed one question uh, in the last week. Uh, so go and check out that video also. Okay, which was also asked at Deloitte. So this is another question which was asked and it is also a scenario based question. So we have a table. Okay, we have records like this as you can see here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 columns here. The question was basically focused on this column which is uh, called as nickname. Okay. So for every person we have some nicknames given here like uh, for Ankur Singh uh, the nickname is Ank Abhi Singh Chotu okay for Abhinav Shukla the nickname is Shukla Abhi Babu for Madhu it is Johnny Chotu Babu so these are not the actual names which was given by the interval these are some uh, these I have written uh, just just a sample names uh, just to make it funny okay so the names which which are actually given by the the nicknames which are actually given by our uh, parents and our friends okay so that's why i mentioned this but so let's not focus there so what was the question so as you can see here uh, we have a name called chotu which is present in three records here as you can see here row number first row number three and row number five okay. the question here was he asked to create a measure which will tell me how many records are there where uh, chotu name is present as the nickname Okay, so this was the first question that he asked. So how to create a measure for this? Okay, so let's uh, let us create a measure for that first. So that was the first question. Okay, so I will give uh, the name measure name as uh, count of Chotu. Okay. So for that what I will use I will use calculate function here okay what I will count I will count the nickname column okay I'll make use of count function here with the nickname column okay close the bracket and what I have to search for I have to search for the records where uh, the name Chotu is present okay so what I will write it here search I will make use of search function here okay. I will make use of search function here and you can see uh, the different arguments that uh, the different arguments that it takes. So first is the find text. So find text in this we will give it as Chotu. Okay. Next one is uh, within text. So in which column you want to find this text? We, we want to find this in nickname column. Okay. So we'll give it as nickname as the second argument. Okay. And the third and the fourth argument uh, you have to give it as one. Okay, one means you have to start the position from the first character itself in the column. Okay, so that's why you will give it as one. And the last argument you will give it as zero. Why is zero? Zero means if uh, it is not found, then return zero. So that's why you have to mention it as zero also. So you will make the use of search function like this. Okay, once you close the bracket and close the calculate function bracket and press the enter key, let's see what was the what is the result. So we already know that in the three columns it is present. Okay, let's see what does the result comes for the measure okay so see we have got the result as see that means our measure is completely correct okay now let us focus on the second part of the question what he asked so he asked what is the percentage of this name this name chotu as per the total number of records okay so that means how many times this chotu name is present out of the total number of records that we have in the table so for that what we will do we will create another measure okay we will where we will calculate percentage of records where name Chotu is present. Okay, so for that I will write a percentage of Chotu. Okay, so for that what we will make use of, we will make use of divide function here. Okay, so divide function we will take the numerator. Numerator will be the measure that we have already created that is the count of measure or count of Chotu. Okay, so that will be the numerator and denominator will be total number of records that is present in the table. So for that what we will make use of, we will make use of count rows function, okay. So count rows function and the table name is sheet 1, okay. Close the bracket. So this is the denominator part, now close the bracket for divide function, okay. 
and press the enter key and also we'll uh, change it uh, change it to the percentage form okay right now it is in general format okay so uh, since the count is 3 and we have total number of records as 1 2 3 4 5 6 so out of 6 records 3 records are there where the name Chotu is present so let's see what does the percentage shows so as you can see here we have got the value as 50 percent okay so that means the result that is coming is also completely correct because out of six records in three records three uh, chotu name is present so 50 percent should be the correct value and that is what we have got okay so this is a scenario based question which was focused on dax so i hope you got the explanation and it was quite easy to solve and if you are preparing for the interviews and if you are being asked something like this so i think you will be able to do it now in the interview okay so please share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.